Hey guys, my name is Jenny Lamb. I'm a chef and restaurant owner, and today we're in the Clean Heat Kitchen with some homegrown goodness, and we're gonna make a Thai green curry. You can make it with beef or vegetarian. There's a mixture of ingredients that we've handpicked out of the garden and also bought. So lemongrass is really easy to grow. It grows pretty much all year round, and if you're terrible at watering the plants like me, uh, this is a great place to start. We've got some lime that we've just picked as well. Uh, the lime leaves themselves are fantastic for adding flavour. We've also got some chilies here, and a Thai green curry is its signature colour and flavour comes from green chilies. The rest of the vegetables are optional and you can interchange them. I like to add a lot of potato and eggplant or zucchini if it is vegetarian. That way it's a bit more filling uh, and it's not so light. The corn will add a bit of sweetness and texture and crunch to your curry. The red capsicum will also add colour and sweetness. We've got a little bit of a compost scrap bin here. If you do have your own garden, don't throw out the scraps. This is great food for the garden. We're going to fry up all our onions and spices first. You'll know your onions are softened when they're see-through. This is done, so we're going to take this out and set it aside. The next thing we're going to do is fry off the coconut milk. To make your own curry paste, you've got a blend in here of green chilies, coriander, uh, fresh lime leaves, and the spices is coriander seed, cumin, pepper, and some turmeric. Once your spices are fragrant, we're going to add our root vegetables in first, your potato and sweet potato, because they take longer to cook. Add a touch of salt, followed by the stock. We're gonna pop the lid on, leave it for 10 minutes to cook, and come back. So my potatoes are now ready, guys. So we're gonna add the remaining vegetables. So all in. Once you've given that a quick stir, you're going to add back in your onions, chilli, lemongrass and lime leaves. And then we're going to add more stock. We're going to let this come back up to the boil and then we're going to simmer it for another 15 minutes or until our eggplant is nice and soft and see-through. Slide all your beef in. Just be careful not to squish any of the vegetables. Because our beef is very lean, the residual heat will continue to cook it. So don't turn up the heat. Last touches, we're going to add a, a bit more coconut cream. And we're going to add some basil. Just rip it in there. I like big chunks of basil. There's my Thai green beef curry. <laughs>